And the first chapter of Tokyo Ghoulry is here, and I'm ready to talk about some Tokyo Ghoul. So for starters, let's clear the elephant out the room. I think everyone that is reading this right now is thinking, Sasaki, if I'm correct, that's how you say his name, Sasaki, dude with the peppered hair, salt and pepper hair, black and white. That's probably Kaneki brainwashed. Maybe Arima, when he stabbed him through the brain, he killed the part that actually remembers who the fuck he is or something. Which would interestingly enough go with the song, Remember Who I Am. So based off this chapter, we got a lot of the premise. We got a lot of the introductions to the characters that are going to be the new main characters. Well, new main characters. And we got some familiar returning faces. I don't remember in the chapter. I read it twice, but... Maybe I skipped over it. It didn't say exactly when this took place, but I've seen people saying that it takes place a few months to a couple years. We know that Akira Mato is now a first-class investigator. She's no longer second. So we know that some time has passed after the events of the end of Tokyo Ghoul. So Hinami is with Ayato. Why? Where's Toka? Why wouldn't she immediately go with Toka? Could Toka no longer make contact with her? Is Toka completely out the way and she went with Yomo somewhere far? Why isn't, did Hinami never have any way to find her? So, and also, Ayato, this definitely shows his character. And we've seen it time and time again that he really wasn't completely evil. He was just really salty at how humanity had treated ghouls. So him taking Hinami in is a favor to his sister and ultimately saying, you know what, sis? I'm going to do this for you. So the fact that he's with Hinami, I see it that way. But I feel bad because she's probably gone through some shit since last being with Oni-chan. Then there's a dude that looks like Tsukuyama crying on the ground. And I believe he might be related to him. He looks just like him or she. I don't know if that's a dude or a chick. But crying there. And it's almost as if this character is crying in agony that Tsukuyama is still in that state. I wouldn't be surprised if... Tsukiyama just became clinically depressed and just doesn't want to do anything ever since the disappearance of Kaneki. It's like, I, I don't, I don't, I'm not surprised. It's Tsukiyama. He's nuts. But I wonder what type of role this character is going to play in this new, you know, Tokyo Ghoul Re. Is he going to be the new Tsukiyama? Is he going to be looking for revenge? What's up? And going back to the character that we think might be Kaneki. Another thing is Arima, and this is small. But Arima was like, oh, when should I return that book to you? We know that Kaneki is a huge reader, and that probably still is with him. And I think, I I'm not really even, like, 20%. Like, I'm pretty fucking sure that this is Kaneki. Like, there's no other explanation. And that's why, like, Arima probably had all of them wear the white eye patches as homage, you know, to the old Kaneki. And at the same time, because maybe they're all sort of, like, halves at the same time. I don't really know exactly to the extent, because we got a lot of new characters in this one. From what I can gather thus far, some of them look like they're going to be young assholes. And I'm hoping that a lot of them grow on me, because, you know, this is first impressions. A lot of them look like they're really hot-headed, they're crazy, and they're trying to be like, oh, man, I'm cool. So hopefully some of them, as time goes on, develops. And you need characters like this, because when they do develop, you feel a lot more accomplished. We ain't get no Juzo in this chapter, and I'm not expecting to get every single answer and every single character in the first returning chapter but what's up with Juzo is he still an inspector whereas you know did he get a prosthetic leg what's up but then finding out that the inspectors one of their biggest goals right now is to make another Arima and basically that's what they're trying to do with Sasaki it's like okay so they want to make him or his group anyway the next Arima and I'm like you can't how are they gonna like why and if indeed Sasaki is Kaneki, how long will it be until he realizes this? Will it be a long time? Or is this not really Kaneki at all? Will Kaneki emerge from somewhere totally different? And then finding out that they're Quinke is basically that they're ghouls now. They have the ghoul DNA sort of in them or something like that because their eyes could turn red. They could use the Kagune seemingly or they were still using Quinke. I'm not really sure. It was a little bit, you know, at the end of the day, Suishida, his art has gotten better, but sometimes it still feels a little bit like hard to differentiate what's going on on the page or whatever, but it looks like they basically have the powers of ghouls as their quinque now so the science has advanced since the last time like they definitely took in steps further to making the inspectors able you know to play on the same playing field as the ghouls and with this first chapter there's a lot of information to take in it seems as though Mato or Akira is getting some sort of bond with the Sasaki guy does she know who he is does she know his real identity and also it's interesting that they all look at him like he has these great abilities it seems as though a big part of this as well, if this is indeed Kaneki, was Sui Ishida wanted to go back to the old Kaneki in the beginning because right now the way this character acts is as if he's old black-haired Kaneki without any thoughts of all the fucked up shit. And like, I can't wait to the day 
we get to white haired Kaneki. But for our first chapter back, interesting stuff, finding out that Hinami's with Ayato, a lot of different things going on right now. They got some case that they're trying to find, you know, one particular ghoul. It was pretty cool stuff, very good return, and I'm like, I just can't wait to get some answers. It's gonna be a while, I know, and at the same time, this isn't Tokyo Ghoul, so I'm not expecting everything to go exactly. I'm just gonna wait and be patient and enjoy it for now because we got some craziness going on. It looks more like from this point on, it might be more so driven from the viewpoint of the inspectors and then maybe we might get the ghouls input later on like maybe right now because if you read tokyo ghoul you obviously know it would be like a good chunk of chapters is the inspectors then we get the viewpoint of the ghouls and then it always switches so with this chapter it was kind of a little bit of a mix because in the beginning we did get a little bit of the ghouls but for the most part i think right now is inspector driven but eventually we will get back to the ghouls and if sasaki starts second guessing everything or starts finding out any sort of clues of who he might be who we think he might be it's gonna get real. But yeah, very good return chapter, and I'm looking forward to more. Let me know what you think. Were there anything that you found out in this chapter that I didn't cover, that I missed? What do you think about Hinami being with Ayato? Do you think, the biggest question, is Sasaki Ken Kaneki with, you know, a different memory entirely? And your overall thoughts, but that's all I have for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked anything I have to say or enjoyed the video, drop me a like. I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed, if you could do so as well, that'd be awesome. I'm FNAF World, and as always, people, have an awesome day.